CLL14 is a randomized phase 3 trial that we conducted um, from 2014 to 2016 uh, and in which 432 patients were recruited to either receive chlorambucilobinutuzumab over a cycle of two, or 12 cycles or 12 cycles of venetoflaxobinutuzumab also um, as a fixed duration treatment regimen and patients were eligible if they um, had coexisting conditions which was assessed according to cumulative illness rating scale so if they had six or more points on this um, SIRS scale they were eligible to receive treatment uh, within the clinical trial um, and uh, if they were previously untreated. So um, we ultimately had 432 patients who did not have previous treatment, who had uh, clinically relevant um, coexisting conditions um, and um, those patients were then treated for, with this fixed dur duration regimen and the primary endpoint was progression-free survival um, for these patients. And um, we recruited quite uh, quickly, which indicated the urgent medical need for this particular group of patients, which probably represents the um, biggest proportion of patients in, uh, in CLL in general. And uh, the, um, the results of this clinical trial were quite clear. So we did see um, that the primary endpoint was met last year, and we saw that there was a significant improvement of, of progression-free survival in patients receiving this chemotherapy-free regimen of uh, venetoclax obinutuzumab and uh, it was significantly longer than patients uh, receiving chloramosyl obinutuzumab. We also saw that this um, benefit uh, of venetoclax obinutuzumab was observed within all relevant um, uh, major subgroups. So we did see that patients with TP53 aberrations um, benefited from this treatment. Um, we did see that patients with unmutated IGSV status, so also an adverse prognostic factor, all these also um, uh, benefited from this um, chemotherapy-free regimen. Um, and we saw sustained deep molecular responses in all patients treated with venetoclax obinutuzumab. Almost 80% of all patients um, had MRDE negative um, MRD negativity in the bone marrow, um, which indicated these deep responses that we observed um, when treating with venetoclax. Um, and we are, today we also saw in some, some deeper analysis on the, um, on, the, on the cytogenetic risk features of the patients and we saw that IGHV status um, uh, was a predictive marker for patients who would particularly benefit from venetoclax or venetuzumab. And we also saw analyses on complex karyotype where again patients with, with venetoclax or venetuzumab did seem to benefit particularly well from, from this um, regimen uh, so that we today see that venetoclax or venetuzumab should be a standard of care for patients um, with previously untreated CLL and coexisting conditions.